Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. God is in the business of bringing restoration to his people. He restores our souls. Praise the Lord. Somebody is being restored today. Someone is being revived today. Then his, uh, his abiding spirit within us radiates enthusiasm, peace, joy, gentleness, and the very character of Christ in our lives. So when we are when we are restored, once he has revived us, he has restored us, what is he going to do? He does not just give us that way. One thing is going to do, the spirit of God comes back into our lives and he redeems what, what Christ is, who Christ is. Such that when people see you, they see this rotation of Christ. They see the light of Jesus Christ in you. They see the peace. They see the joy. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Because you, wherever you go, you'll be bringing peace. Mm. You'll be bringing joy in people's lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Not the false joy. Because you know you can have just happiness. Yeah. Not just happiness. True joy that comes from God. Amen. Then gentleness. You're going to be a gentle person. The way you handle yourself, the way you handle others, you are gentle. Because right now, the Spirit of God lives in you. When the Spirit of God lives in you, He is gentle. Yes. He is a gentleman. That's why He does not force Himself in people's lives. Yes. You have to invite Him. Mm. You have to allow Him to come into your life. And the only way He is going to stay, because the Holy Spirit can live very quickly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. If there is someone you should never annoy, mm. it's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because one small mistake he leaves. Glory be to Jesus. But it can also come to us quickly. When we repent and we allow him, we walk in humility in our lives. And we have decided and purpose. I am going to live a, 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 a humble life where the Holy Spirit will stay in my life and I'll never allow him to live. You can cause the Holy Spirit to live when you talk about somebody. Mm -hmm. And especially talking about your pastor, the Holy Spirit will not stay. And imagine when the Holy Spirit leaves you, you are like an empty an empty container. Mm -hmm. that, does that bottle have water? Can you pour that water out there? Praise the Lord. Just pour that water. Glory to Jesus. So praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. You look at this bottle. And this bottle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have a full bottle. Praise the Lord. We well, have a bottle that is full. We have this bottle and this. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is that full? Yes. That one is full. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. So I have these two bottles. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. All of them are from the same company. They are from Kaplan, isn't it? Amen. All of them are the same. I'm saying. Yes. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. When we look at them, we, are, we know these, these are water bottles. Mm. Aren't they? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. These are containers. Yes. But one container has substance. Mm. The other container is empty. Mm. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. This container here is empty. So, would you want this container or this one? You would want the one that is full. Glory to Jesus. So that is what happens. The Holy Spirit, when he fills you, glory to Jesus. Even if people might not see the difference. Praise the Lord. Even if they, but you might not see, because when you are at the back there, you will not see. That's why you need to be closer and closer to God. So that you can see clearly. Because the ones who are here, they can see clearly that this bottle is full and this one is empty. But somebody who is far there, they will not see. So you need to be closer and closer to the Holy Spirit. Because the closer you are, the more He fills you. The more He fills you and you have substance in your life. But the farther you are, the empty you'll be. And then you become empty, you make a lot of noise. Ah. And the noise you are making, praise the Lord, it is useless noise. Nobody wants to you become a noise maker in his house. We don't want noise makers in the house of God. Praise the Lord. We were noise makers for a long time. Now it is time to enter into glory. 
so that we can be filled we are full and we have substance yes. in our lives Amen. we have substance that people can look at us they see the real joy they see the real peace glory to Jesus hallelujah they see gentleness in us because we, some of these things you don't see them you only see the manifestation mm. praise the Lord Amen. because when you look at them you will not be able to see the difference but now you will be able to see the manifestation because this one will quench somebody's thirst mm. this one will not help anybody Glory to Jesus. Amen. When you are empty, you cannot help anyone. Yes. So what are you going to be doing? You not produce anything good. So what do you do? You go looking for other empties. <laughs> you connect with other empties. Because when we have this, we put, we have, do you see this one is on the table? Yes. That one I can throw it. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So do you see your level when you are empty? When you are empty, you can be kicked by anybody. You can be taken from one place to the other, aimlessly and carelessly. But now, when you have substance, you are handled with care. We place you on a table. Not just an ordinary table, on a high table. That is what you become. So today, can you be unveiled and you be revived and you become someone that is being restored and being filled with his power Hallelujah. so that people will long and desire to have you to become that they can have you near near them yeah. you only attract only the, the ones that are full are the ones which are put together Amen. but the ones that are empty you also put them together on their side the glory be to Jesus Amen. praise the Lord so can you be on the side of where we have substance? Praise the Lord. Because this is the so that you can be in glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Because when you don't have the end, the glory is not there. Amen. Who is interested in you? Praise the Lord. Amen. So you 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 when you have when you have substance, that is what you are producing. The very character of Christ. Mm -hmm. If you want to quench the thirst, if you want healing, you have somebody who has healing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If you have the broken hearted, mm -hmm. we have somebody who is able to console that one. Mm -hmm. If somebody is mourning, we have a comforter who can come and comfort. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have substance. But when you are empty, you cannot comfort someone who is mourning. Mm -hmm. You cannot restore anybody. Mm -hmm. You cannot help anyone. But when you, when you are full, well, the words you produce, they are words of counsel. Because you have the counselor in you. Praise the Lord. The wonderful counselor is living in you. And his name is Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. So he's able to counsel everyone that comes your way. He's able to restore people. He's able to take care of, of people's needs. When you open your mouth, it brings healing. It brings deliverance. But do you know when you are empty, you you go like now this bottle. When I kick it, it will not even go to the direction that I want. It will just go anywhere. It might not go even where I am aiming at. It will just go wherever. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is how you find yourself doing things that you did not you you realize later I made a mistake. And it is a mistake I would have avoided. But why did you end up doing it? It is because you are empty. So you are just tripled and drilled wherever, wherever you are taken. That is where you can go wherever. Praise the Lord. We don't even know who you are. We cannot even give you any assignment. We can't give you any assignment in the church. Because who wants to be prayed for by an empty thing? We cannot even ask you to pray for Pastor Stella. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Why is God giving the children that, that assignment? Mm. We need to have people restored mm. and filled with His Spirit. Mm. So that because you cannot pray for her when you are empty, mm -hmm. you must have the character of Christ oh, yeah. to be able to be given an assignment to pray for God's people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So when you're talking about humility, because it's humility that you need, you have to leave your comfort zone. Come, you have to come to be there for the sake of the nation. Praise the Lord. Because it's now it's no longer you. As 
Pastor Stella being with the glory of God ministries in England and probably the one in Tanzania. Praise the Lord. Amen. She's not just called for those two. She has been called to other nations. And therefore, you are getting into a level as God continues to raise and take us to new levels. We are being raised so that we can, when we are, we are being called to have substance, it is so that we can feed and take care of the nations. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be blessed for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries, mother to the amazing champions and mother to the CMCs around the globe. And uh, please we'll partner with us at www.agracem.org. That's our website and also listen to other messages. Uh, also follow us on YouTube and Facebook at Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki and also at Kariuki Bishop Dr. Grace. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.